here we are again packed up. A bunch of people have packed up and left, but there are still a few people sleeping, so I'm trying to get out of here as quietly as possible. Hopefully we can hit the trail in a few minutes. Oh, and I think the weather report, so obviously it's not raining at the moment, um, but I do think it's supposed to rain throughout the day. We're going to see what we can do and get into a town and dry off. We are on trail, hiking this steep chute of rocks and up this. Well, at least they have this. Yeah, they have a railing. Good job, Ash. All right, here we are. We have pretty much climbed Old Spec, and the um, AT goes this way down to Grafton Notch. The couple we met yesterday is getting off there, getting dried out. We wanted to do that last night, but there's no way we could have done this climb that late yesterday. The guy, one of the guys at the shelter, was like, "Yeah, when you guys walked up, I." Wasn't sure if you were hypothermic. Um, so anyway, it was the right move last night to stay in that shelter. Still cold, still damp. It has started raining. It's obviously foggy. We gotta go down this mountain now. We wanna go past Grafton because obviously that would only be a four mile, five mile hike um, today. So we wanna go past Grafton and get to the town of Andover and then get off there. However... At least it's a few more miles. If we were not in a hurry, we would get off at Grafton. Yeah. Right but now. because we're trying to finish at a certain time, we want to push on to Andover. Yes. Try to. Yeah. I mean. It's tough. Here's my concern. If we decide to go past and we lose service and it takes us like three hours to get down these three miles. And then we have a 2,500 foot push. So... We're just trying to go 15 today. Yes. Okay? So if we get down to Grafton Notch, that'll be the first five? Yep. Is that right? Yep, 4.6. Okay. All right. So we're going to be careful and do this descent. All right, we've been standing here at this junction for how long? Half an hour. <laughs> for basically like a half an hour, we've been trying to get through. Who wants to give the update? Elliot? <laughs> no. I'll, I'll, go. I'll say it. So we've been standing at this junction for half an hour to 45 minutes, trying to get a, ho a motel to pick up so we can go into town tonight and sleep because it's... It's freezing. It's freezing. And all and, of our stuff's wet. Yeah. It's, and last night someone thought that we had hypothermia. It's kind of miserable. 
yes. right now, unfortunately. So we... As much as we're trying to stay positive. It's, it's hard. We got a motel and we're going to head down three and a half down the trail to mm. Grafton Notch Route 26 and get picked up there. Kevin, I think his name is? And Mark. Mark, Mark, sorry, Mark, um, is going to drive us into town, make sure we get a resupply, that we get something to eat later, whatever we need. So we were trying to stay at a different place, but we could not get through. I called, um, without exaggerating, I think I called 11 or 12 times, yeah. and the phone just kept ringing. So that motel was right next door to a restaurant and right next door to a resupply, so we thought that was going to be most convenient. But... God has a different plan. This man's willing to pick us up, willing to help us out. There's another couple that we hiked through the notch with yesterday, and I believe they're also getting picked up at 11. So, Elliot, is this a good plan? Yes. Yeah. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. We're going to get warm and we're going to have a shower. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks because we want to do the do the miles you know what it's not about the miles it's 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 actually it's not about the miles it's about finishing in time to spend time with family that's the thing that has us all kind of worked up and stressed out if that was not even happening then w we would not think twice about this we would absolutely just go into town today and take a Nero um, so the only reason that going into town and taking a Nero is disappointing is because we want to finish this hike sooner rather than later. Um, but this is this is the right thing to do right now. This is what we need to do. Been raining for three, so, four days now. Yeah. It's just and the other thing stinks. is, the other thing is, once the rain gets my socks wet and I hike in for multiple days, my heels rub raw like red. My entire back of my heel is yeah, all gross. red and raw. This is what we need to do for us, and I don't know what's going to happen with when we get to do the miles and when we get to finish, but we're going to do it. We're going to finish. Yep. We just might not finish in time to spend time with family. It is disgusting. It's not raining at the moment. And we have a shuttle pickup lined up, so. <sighs> we're just trying to come to terms with the fact that we're doing this, that we're taking a new row, but it's the right thing to do. Look at this, it's quite a view. We're about to continue down the trail and come upon some waterfalls, which we can hear from here. Half a mile. But this is glorious. The sun has come out. It's very nice. So we're feeling kind of some of us are mixed because the sun has come out, so now we feel like we should keep hiking. However, that said, we still have a whole bunch of wet stuff. We still have a bunch of mud muddy stuff. We have legs that are tired. We have feet that are like red and sore and need to be tended to. So I think that we actually, the sunshine will help us to dry our tent out. Once we get to the motel, it'll help us dry our tarp out and then we can get all our clothes and bodies tended to. So I still think it's the right choice. Taking a quick snack break and then we're getting down to the notch where we're gonna get picked up in a little over an hour. Oh no, you break your case? No, I just dropped it in all the yeah. gook. Okay. Sorry about that. I dropped my phone when I was trying to get it out to videotape this. This is awesome. Isn't that pretty? Alright.
right, this is exciting. We're coming out to Grafton Notch. Closest area to here is Bethel, Maine, but it's like 10 or 20 miles. Um, but there are a couple of motels and we are getting picked up. And we are gonna get dried out. So we just took the old spectral down. Half. 4.6 and now we're gonna get picked up. Okay, so here's an update. We're at the West Bethel Motel. This place is awesome. The owners here are amazing, and I totally recommend this place if you're ever in the area. Um, they picked us up at the trailhead. They brought us here, got us set up in our rooms. They have a kitchen that we can use. They have laundry on site. Um, they drove us into town so that we could get lunch and a resupply. We're setting our tent up here and airing everything out and drying everything. This thing is so soaked from like two days ago that it actually, uh, of course it smells, but look at like it's still soaking wet and it's starting to grow mold, which is pretty gross. Um, so it's a good thing that we took it out today and uh, did this and I mean our clothes are the same way everything's wet we're drying everything we have laundry going so as much as we want to do miles this kind of thing is necessary because I mean we couldn't uh, I guess we could have slept in this tent again but as you can see it's like still wet and like I said we now have mold spots <laughs> <laughs> which is so disgusting oh my goodness so at least we can dry it out and air it out today while we're here and we're gonna get back on trail tomorrow meanwhile we're gonna get a great night's sleep tonight and um, yeah enjoy a couple of treats iced coffee and yes I got the boys donuts because Hey, you know, when you hike 1,900 miles or so, you get treats. So anyway, um, this place is great. So I'm so thankful. Uh, even though it turned out to be a sunny day, it actually is helping us dry our stuff out. So I'm not going to regret that we're not hiking. Uh, we needed this for sure.